Hey folks, it's Hill, Hollow Knight no-hit runner and Year 9 Gold Maths Challenge winner with another How to No-Hit Guide. Today we're covering the Fireball Slash Squid Skip, which cuts out a huge portion of Green Path and allows you to reach the Hornet fight much, much quicker. I'll go over the Fireball Skip first and then go through my setup for the Backup or Alternative Skip using the Squid, which is actually much easier and largely consistent. If you're looking at getting into running this game or thinking about stepping up from any percent to all skills, true ending or even further, then I'm here to help. Pop in the Discord, come by the stream, ask me anything that you might want to and you know what, I'll help you out because I'm just that nice. Links are in the description, where else would they be? Let's bloody go! To start with, it's always good to have full soul coming into the skip, filling up on the enemies on the road here, and these poor innocent birds if need be. That way, you've got three fireballs to work with when performing the skip, although it is possible with just one. Look at me go, wow, what a gamer. To set it up, you need to walk to the very edge of this ledge, then full height jump up. No, what are you on about? That was me. I did it in what? Shut up. Walk to the very edge of this ledge, then full height jump up and left until the vessel lines up with this part of the background. Here comes the tricky bit. You need to then quick cast to the right, which will send the vessel slightly left. Then hold left again, and you'll drop just on the edge of the platform. Using all three fireballs gives you the furthest amount of distance to the left, but it is pretty comfortable to do it with just two. It can be awkward getting used to the speed at which you need to change direction. Keyboard users will most likely find this skip easier than those on controller, but don't worry if you're anything like me, with all the resets you'll get plenty of practice at this skip, and the rest of the early game as well. Also, don't worry if you find yourself struggling with fireball skip, it is far, far more tricky to input than the acid skip, for example, which I covered in another video by the way, if you're interested. But the benefit is, unlike Acid Skip, if you get it wrong, there's no damage waiting as punishment. And you've got the added benefit of the far easier Squid Skip as backup. The way I've found that sets it up best is by dropping down onto this platform, then very briefly hopping over the Acid and then back again to aggro the Squid. Then move to the right side of this platform and wait for the Squid to charge. Once it starts the attack animation, its aim is set. So jump up to the right platform, the squid will fly under you and end up below the platform that we want to get on top of. It's then simply a case of jumping above it, pogoing, and voila, skip complete. The squid can be a little uncooperative at times. It can start its attack super early or sometimes get stuck under here. You can try and wrangle it into position, or what I do is just leave the screen to the right, reset its position, and then come back and attempt to skip again. I hope this short guide helped. If there's any other skips in Hollow Knight runs that you want me to cover, let me know in the comments. Or if you've got your own strategies and tech for the game, pop those down there as well. I've got other tips and guides and comedy gold on the channel. And if you, like 78.6% of the people watching this video, haven't done the thing, then do us a favour. Okay? Thanks. Sloth. Bye.